Capricorn, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we are going to be pulling some messages that are going to help uncover any love or money blocks you may be experiencing. If you are looking to manifest a certain amount of money into your life or a specific person, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you have not yet check him out all he's over at 70 tarot and be sure to stick around until the end of this reading because we are going to be pulling a final message from your angels now as the way things are going you are going to be united with your desires a, a time of happiness a time of joy uh, a time of partnership so perhaps maybe more unity with your loved one uh, meeting somebody new that uh, it feels more like a partnership as opposed to just a love interest it's like a an, an action a connection that can you can expand with this could be um, uh, this partnership energy is almost feeling like you're going to be uh, feel more connected with your current work situation or maybe have an idea for a new work situation that feels better for you feels better for your spirit um, but either way there's going to be clarity now something that we really want to bring up when it comes to clarity is about trusting your own inner being during this time during this this transitional time and that's why we really want you to highlight this right so this is going to be your affirmation for the day my inner being guides me into abundance write this down in the comments below Capricorn because when we write it down and when we say it out loud this is how we command our energy this is how we create this is how we use the energy that creates worlds to create our world so my inner being guides me into abundance write this down in the comments below so that you can proclaim this to the universe and so that you can really highlight what you are going to become aware of when you follow the guidance of your inner being you reclaim your power because you're taking action on what you really want sometimes we're in an energy or we're in an environment in our lives where we are feeling upset about it i can't believe this is happening everything feels wrong we don't feel like what we're doing is is getting us the results that we're looking for we feel really hopeless we have we're up worrying at night we have sleepless nights we have we're full of limiting beliefs and and scarcity thoughts and we just feel like why is this happening to me right and when we are in this energy the universe wants to remind you that because of this adversity you're experiencing the growth will come from this so when we are going through those adverse moments we want you to have the reminder that it is all going to work out okay everything is always working out for you everything is always working out for you say this right now out loud everything is always working out for me everything is always working out for me because it truly truly is when we are in those moments of adversity it's merely just so that we are learning and experiencing particular lessons and right now we're really asking you to release the, the 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 control of anything that you are looking to manifest into your life because the thing is is that once you already feel the inspiration to manifest something it's already been manifested now you just have to be in an energetic state of receival you see so the minute that you feel inspired to do something right you have this brilliant new idea or you have this exciting new thought right ace of ace of of swords there then what happens is that's projected out to the universe and when you keep following the good frequency the good vibration the happy thoughts then you attract in uh, opportunities that are related to that happy thought but the minute that you think a thought and it becomes negative like I'd really like this but you fall into a lower timeline attracting in lower frequencies attracting in lower situations and so it's more important for us to really connect to the higher timeline to the most positive outcome and the only way that this is possible is when we are meditating because when we are meditating we are disconnecting from the thoughts giving us the freedom to connect to at whatever timeline that we desire you see and we can see here that you're being guided again into that beautiful time of happiness joy celebration and abundance but this is not something that you control this is something that the universe guides you through into right and that's why you know my inner being guides me into abundance right that's why it's so important to have this in your awareness now while you are in the process of being guided in your journey through life right every each and every single day you just want to pay attention to energetically how you feel and so sometimes that means letting go and totally relaxing soaking in that bath nurturing yourself getting more rest right asking for help if you need it after all the angels are always here for us but there's really a frequency here now of resting capricorn just rest rest nurture yourself 
trust in the process and pay attention to where the direction of your thoughts and where the direction of your words are going. It's very, very important that you connect to those higher timelines so you're guided into those higher frequencies, right? Because as we know, the law of attraction will give us everything that we are thinking about. But if we are thinking about wanting money, then we are attracting in wanting money and not having money, you see. And that's why it's easier when we're really connected and really attached to something. We merely just say, hey, wouldn't it be great if I true this, this would be amazing, right? Uh, and, and just feeling the feeling of having something, having the feeling of feeling that money in your life, having the feeling of feeling, have, or feeling that feeling of, of you and your relationships uh, expanding and blossoming, um, but ultimately not getting too attached to how or when that is going to be possible. Just experiencing the feeling and trusting that whatever you desire, it will be. It's your birthright. It's not just like you're lucky. It's like it's actually your birthright, right? So understand that very soon here, there's going to be a new breakthrough idea that's going to lead you to a higher timeline of abundance. Two Ace of Swords is now. So there's going to be some massive clarity, some understanding of a situation, right? So things are going to start to fall into place pretty quickly here. So again, all we really want you to do is really just feel good. Just feel good in your life. And again, pay attention to where your words are going because your thoughts become things, right? Your thoughts become things. And the more you think something, the more it comes in, but not thinking in a way that it reminds you that you don't have it, right? You don't want to think about something and then, and rehearse scarcity or rehearse lack, right? You only want to think about something with the inner belief that it is already yours, right? That's why I'm so grateful grateful is a very powerful tool, right? Being grateful and I love, I love money. I'm so grateful for the money that flows in, that flows to me endlessly, right? These kinds of words really help support us on our journeys and help guide us into new opportunities and new beginnings that align with that intention, you see? And we see here that there's going to be a new opportunity that's going to come forward. Some type of collaboration, skill building, there's going to be a partnership of some kind that's going to be brought forth, but it's going to be an exciting new opportunity that's going to show up for you. So just hang tight, hold on, take care of yourself, get that rest. There's nothing that you have to physically do to make this happen. All you have to do is uh, feel your best, be in a high frequency, whatever that may be. Maybe make the better choice that day than what you're used to making, right? Get more rest, wake up early, get the meditations and right? Never neglect your meditations. It's the most important one out of all of them, right? Get your exercise in, right? Get your, the, the healthy foods in. That's the most important thing. And always know that through adversity, through polarity is where we learn the most, is where we're being guided. So it's almost like you want to look at adversity in your life or polarity in your life as a as an arrow that points you in what direction you wish to take, right? And if something isn't feeling good in your life, recognize that. Don't keep pushing it. Don't keep forcing it. Really ask yourself, you know what? I'm not really even enjoying this. This isn't something I have to do. This is something I'm choosing to do and I'm not enjoying it. So I'm choosing to let this go, right? That is something entirely you can do. For instance, like if you started exercising and you were, say, lifting weights and you're like, I don't really like, like lifting weights. I find it quite boring. I don't really want to do split days. This, this doesn't feel good. My body aches. I'm not into it. Then instead of saying, you know what? Working out is stupid. You could say something like, well, you know what? Maybe I'll try body weight exercises or, you know, what? maybe I'll try Pilates or dancing or signing up for a class or spin class, you know, expanding, expanding. And that's what we're asking for you right now. Instead of looking at the situation that you don't like, just merely remind yourself, okay, Okay, well, you know, this is leading me to something greater for myself. See, whatever you dislike means that there's something better for you. So it's almost like you want to open up this awareness of like, of, of being wrong is leading you to greatness. So if you feel like you made the wrong choice, if you feel like something isn't truthful, if you feel like something is negative, almost be happy with that because that's going to lead you to something that resonates even stronger, even more, right? And then the name of the game is, is going through the, the beautiful uh, energies that come forth for you, right? That the, the energies that, that truly create world flows through you and meaning that you are being guided again, every step of the way. That's why when you meditate, you connect to your inner being, right? And that's why the angels have a message for you today of what do you desire? Beautiful soul. This is so important. They're asking, you now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them, they'll rush into your life as if by magic. And that is the truth. But until you know what you actually want to do, 
then everything's just kind of uncertain and here's this. It's, it's sort of, yeah, I could do that, but wait until it truly feels good for you. Wait until you feel inspired. Wait until you feel cold. Wait until it feels so good and delicious. You can't wait to jump into it, right? Until that moment happens for you, the time, divine timing hasn't, has, hasn't taken place yet. So just be open. And in the meantime, take care of your energetic frequency by making sure that you're doing what's necessary to do that, feeling your best, getting the meditations, exercise, waking up early, eating those foods, right? That's what it's all about. And playing, having fun, enjoying the journey that leads you to your greatest desires. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like, share and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.